各位同学，大家好，我是宏光科技大学应用英语系蒋小珍，欢迎收看今天英文翻译第九次播出。上次我们谈了可译与不可译，今天要谈英汉语言的对比一。首先介绍跟我一块主持节目的王教授。各位同学，大家好，我是东吴大学英文系王安琪，今天要讨论英文与中文之间的差异。这一讲我们讨论名词和形容词，下一讲讨论动词、副词及冠词。来，我们先看 Part One, Principles of Translation， 翻译原理。今天要谈英汉语言的对比。安琪，你觉得呃，英汉语言哪边是最大的差异？嗯哼。那基本上，汉语属于一种图形文字 （picture writing）， 那类似埃及的象形文字 （hieroglyphics）。那譬如日、月是表意文字，而英语是一种拼音文字 （alphabetic writing）。那某些字母代表某些声音，譬如说 apple。那英汉的比较很复杂哈，我们也可以从比较明确的词语。来互相比较，显示其间的差异。先谈英汉语词在名词的对比，然后再谈形容词的对比。首先看名词，那英汉语言中有些名词的表达方式，它在数量、性别以及所有格上有所差异。例如 ，a horse is a useful animal。马是一种有用的动物。Horses are useful animals. 马是有用的动物。一般而言，英文的单数名词加 s 尾巴哈，或者加 es 表示复数。例如 month months, dish dishes, tomato tomatoes, photo photos, zoo zoos. 但中文没有单数复数的差别。How many children do you have? 你有几个孩子？ I have one child. 我有一个孩子。你看，孩子在英文中单数是 child， 复数是 children， 在形式上不同。那例如有 foot, feet, goose, geese, tooth, teeth, ox, oxen, woman, women。但中文呢，它中间只有这个形式相同哈。Physics is not easy to learn. 物理不易学习。Measles is a children's disease. 麻疹是孩童的病。These scissors are so dull that I cannot use them. 这些剪刀太钝了，无法使用。I want a new pair of trousers. 我要一条新长裤。Billiards is a good indoor game. 撞球是一种有益的室内游戏。我们来看一下，英文中有一些。学科啦，疾病、用具、衣服、比赛的名称都是用复数形式的，例如 mathematics、linguistics、mumps、rickets、spectacles、shears、pants、pajamas， 而中文呢，则没有什么差别。He held a dictionary under his arm. 他手臂下夹着一本字典。The progress of arms control will come not through negotiating skill only. 现武进展不是单靠谈判技巧。好，我们看这个 arm， 呃，单数是手臂，可 arms 就变成是武器了哈。好，我们看下面，有些英文名词呢，它的单数跟复数不同形式，而且有不同的意义。譬如说。Manner 是方法 ，manner 是礼貌 ，custom 习惯 ，customs 复数变海关或者关税 ，look 是看 ，looks 变容貌 ，air 是空气 ，air 是装腔作势 ，work 工作 ，works 是工厂，而中文却没有这种差异。He is an extremely fine actor. 他是位极为优秀的男演员。She is a Beautiful and talented actress. 她是位美丽而又有才气的女演员。
有些英文名词的性别采字尾的变化，譬如说加 i n e 变女的或 e s s 变女的，我们来看一下例子 ：hero、heroine、host、hostess、poet、poetess、line、nineties、master、mistress、prince、princess。那么中文呢？我们则是用词汇用男或女来表示性别。Mary's husband decided to use a credit card to buy a present. Mary's husband decided to use a credit card to buy a present. The price of the swatch is not low. 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 The price of the swatch 那构成个介系词片语，表示的关系哈。那么在中文呢，则需在名词后面加一个的就好了。好，接着我们看英汉语词在形容词方面的对比。英汉语词的形容词通常都是用来表示人、事、物的特征。那汉语中有些形容词可以用重叠的方式表示，如隐隐约约、渺渺茫茫。模模糊糊，白发苍苍，深情款款，茫茫大海，白雪皑皑，还有白花花的，雄赳赳的，气昂昂的，等等。但是这些叠词在英语当中几乎完全没有办法表现出来，所以翻译的时候只能采用非常相近的近义词来表示。那譬如说隐隐约约可以翻成 indistinct， 白发苍苍翻成 h o r r y h a i r e d 茫茫大海，翻成 the boundless sea。英汉语言在形容词上最大的差异，在比较级和最高级的表达上。英语比较级和最高级的构成基本上分三类。第一个是英文单音节和双音节的形容词，在字尾加 e r 表示比较级，那若加 e s t 表示最高级。三个音节以上的形容词，在原级前面要加 more 表示比较级，加 most 表示最高级。那么上述两种是属于规则变化，第三种是属于不规则变化。相对之下呢，中文只是以比呀、啊、比较啊，或较啊，或者更啊，那加在词汇前就表示比较级。我们用最或者极或者非常就表示最高级。第一类是在形容词字尾加 e r 或是 e s t， 所以就有三级：原级、比较级、最高级。譬如 small、smaller、smallest、nice、nicer、nicest、dirty、dirtier、dirtiest、hot、hotter、hottest。第二类是形容词字前面加 more 或是 most， 那原级、比较级、最高级就分成 beautiful、more beautiful、the most beautiful、difficult。More difficult, the most difficult. Interesting, more interesting, the most interesting. Important, more important, the most important. 第三类是形容词的不规则变化，原级、比较级、最高级分别是 good 或者是 well， 然后呢，比较级是 better, the best, bad 或是 ill 形容词啊，比较级是 worse, the worst, many, much 的比较级是 more, the most. 在英语比较级还有最高级，在句子中间用法哈，我们来举例说明。Betty is wiser than her younger sister. Betty 比妹妹有智慧。John is more diligent than any other boy here. 约翰比这任何男孩都勤奋。Florence is one of the most beautiful cities in all of Europe. 佛罗伦斯是全欧洲最美丽的都市之一。She is superior to other writers. 她比其他作家好。我们看 superior to 是 better 的意思 ，inferior to 是 worse，junior to 是 younger，senior to 是 older， 这有比较的意味。She is more proud than vain. 与其说她是虚荣，不如说她是骄傲。The sooner you do it, the better it will be. 越快越好。有些形容词的比较级、最高级的翻译比较困难。
《前歌川》，他编了一本书，叫做《翻译的技巧》，里面有一些例子，我们可以拿来作为参考。第一个 ，There is no smallest doubt about it. 毫无疑惑 ，This does not concern me in the least. 这与我毫无关系。The richer a man is, the greater he gets. 人越有钱越贪婪。I think none the worse of him because he accepted their offer. 他接受了他们的建议，我并不因此就对他不尊敬了。He won't come, so much the better. 他不来更好。It is nonetheless true because it sounds strange. 听起来很怪，确实是真的，并不因为听起来很怪就不是真的。He's the last man to accept a bribe. 他绝不是受贿赂的人。This more than satisfied me. 这令我十二分的满意。He likes a child much more a baby. 他喜欢小孩，更喜欢婴孩。He's anything but a scholar. 他绝非一个学者。He's more witty than wise. 与其说他聪明，不如说他机智。He's more dead than alive. 与其说他活着，不如说他死了。接着我们来看 Part Two: Famous Quotations, 中外名言。丧失信心，害怕胆怯，畏缩不前。To cut cold feet， 逆来顺受。If you do not like it, lump it。英雄无用武之地。A hero has no place to display his prowess。打铁趁热。Strike while the iron is hot。不人后尘。To follow in somebody's footsteps。好，接着是我们的 Part Three Dialogue 英文绘画。在观看这一段绘画之前，我们先解说绘画当中一些词汇和片语 （vocabulary and expressions）， 帮助同学了解内容。Ward 病房。Trained, 受过训练的 At the moment, 此刻当时 Salary, 薪资 Facility, 设备场所 Dilemma, 困境 As well, 也 Set up, 架设 Key into the file, 用键盘输入档案 Assigned, 派定 Present, 提出说明 Conference, 会议 Department head, 系主任 Pediatrics, 小儿科 Draw, 抽签 At random, 随意的 Entirely, 完全的 Wear, 戴着 Dunce cap, 傻瓜帽子 Audience, 观听众 Field, 知识领域专业 Hail from, 来自 Except, 除了 All of curiosity. 出自好奇心 ，folks， 人们 ，international， 国际的 ，confab， 会谈交谈 ，get over， 克服 ，demand， 要求 ，cold war， 冷战 ，untitled， 为书加标题，取名为 ，forefront， 最前面 ，at large， 就全体而言 ，wrestle with， 全力对付 ，a whole raft of， 大量的。Issue, 问题，争议。Domestic, 国内。Have to do with, 与什么有关。Digress, 脱离主题。Shell out, 付款。Rake in, 捞进大笔金钱。Budget cut, 预算削减。Loom, 隐约出现，破镜。Ahead, 在前。Scream, 尖叫。Bloody, 嗜杀的，残忍的。Murder, 谋杀 citizen, 公民 starving, 饥饿的 freezing, 冻寒的冻僵的 rights, 权利 deny, 拒绝。今天的英文绘画内容是讨论 
，呃，在全程使用英文的研讨会上来做简报。This is where we'll have class today. It's quieter for sure, but the world had to close for a lack of trained nurses. At the moment, we get too few of them due to the low salaries. Then your facility isn't the only one facing this dilemma. No, others feel it as well. I can set up and key into the file over here. I got assigned to present it at the conference. Our department had chosen three of us in pediatrics to draw at random, and I have to do it entirely in English. You know what you're doing, I'm sure, and I would be wearing a dance cap in that audience. Would they all be people in your field? Yes, and all of them hail from here except the authors, who come from America. Just out of curiosity. How much Chinese can those folks understand? Probably not much, since most is best to hear English at an international confab. That's something our people can't seem to get over: going to foreign countries and demanding that they use our language or be not heard. A Cold War novel entitled "The Ugly American" later made into a movie, brought less to the forefront. The American people at large, and their governments, which right now need to wrestle with a whole raft of issues, foreign and domestic, many if not most having to do with how we spend money. We've digressed a bit. You're right. So about shelling out more than one rex in, when budget cuts loom ahead, everybody screams bloody murder about citizens starving. Freezing or having their rights denied. This is where we'll have class today. It's quieter for sure, but the world had to close for a lack of trained nurses. At the moment, we get too few of them due to the low salaries. Then your facility isn't the only one facing this dilemma. No, others feel it as well. I can set up and key into the file over here. I got assigned to present it at the conference. Our department had chosen three of us in pediatrics to draw at random, and I have to do it entirely in English. You know what you're doing, I'm sure, and I would be wearing a dance cap in that audience. Would they all be people in your field? Yes, and all of them hail from here except the authors, who come from America. Just out of curiosity, how much Chinese can those folks understand? Probably not much, since most is best to hear English at an international confab. That's something our people can't seem to get over: going to foreign countries and demanding that they use our language or be not heard. A Cold War novel entitled "The Ugly American" later made into a movie, brought less to the forefront the American people at large and their governments, which right now need to wrestle with a whole raft of issues, foreign and domestic. Many, if not most, having to do with how we spend money. We've digressed a bit. You're right. So about shelling out more than one rex in, when budget cuts loom ahead, everybody screams bloody murder about citizens starving, freezing, or having their rights denied. 好，接着我们要从刚刚的英文绘画内容里面挑一些选择题出来做 questions。What can we infer about the second speaker? A. She is a master computer hacker. B. She does not like the task facing her. C. She likes to make realistic movies. D. She thinks she is grossly underpaid. B. She does not like the task facing her. Question two: Where does this conversation take place? A. Hospital. B. Theater, C. 
Internet Cafe. D. We can tell from the story. A. Hospital. Question 3. Which type of major problem does the second speaker mention? A. Ecological. B. Pedagogical. C. Pathological. D. Economic. D. Economic. Question 4. What is causing the second speaker to worry? A. Medical knowledge. B. Photographic techniques. C. Foreign language. D. Publication deadline. C. Foreign language. 好，那最后我们来看 Part Four. Let's practice. 句型翻译练习。我们从英文绘画当中挑出例子来，再做句型翻译练习。The ward had to close for lack of trained nurses. 病房因为缺乏训练有素的护士而关闭。我们要学 lack of 缺乏。新火车站缺乏资金而取消新建。The building of the new station was cancelled due to lack of funds. The building of the new station was cancelled due to lack of funds. 我们看哪个错？因为这个被动式被取消是 was cancelled， 这样 l 要 double 哈。好看另外的翻法。Shortage of cash halted construction of the new depot。好 ，shortage 是缺少的意思哈。那火车站 depot 也可以。再看缺水让村民感到困扰。The villagers were annoyed about lack of water. The villagers Annoyed about lack of water. 我们看哪个错？第二个错，他们感到困惑应该是 were annoyed 哈。我们看另外翻翻看。The inhabitants resented a dearth of water. 好 ，villagers 跟 inhabitants 都是一样的居民，那就缺少 dearth 也是 lack 的意思。At the moment, we get too few of them due to the low salaries. 由于当时的薪资很低，我们没有太多那样的人。我们要学 due to 由于，由于昨晚的大雪，我们无法出门。Due to the heavy snow last night, we were unable to go out. Due to the large snow last night, we were unable to go out. 看哪边有不好的？第二个哈，我们说修饰雪很大是用 heavy 比较好。Large snow, 那没有那个感觉哈。好，我们看另外的说法。Last evening's heavy snow forced us to stay indoors. 好，我们看看 force 迫使我们怎么样哈。再来，他所有的成就都是由于不懈的努力。His achievements due to his constant efforts. His achievements were due to his constant efforts. 看哪边错？对，第一个错，同学，你翻的时候你把动词丢掉了，要加 were 进去。我们也另外翻翻看 ，his non-stop hard work reaped success。好，不懈，我们说 non-stop 不停止的 reap 说收获的意思，有成功的收成哈。好，下面 ，yes， and all of them hail from here， except the authors who come from America。是的，这里的人都来自本地。除了那位来自美国的作者，我们要学 except except for 除了什么之外，除了星期一那家店每天都开门。The shop opens every day except the Monday. The shop opens every day except Monday. 看哪个错了？第一个错，我们说星期几不要 the 哈，直接讲 Monday 就好了。另外做做看。This store does business. Tuesday through Sunday. 好，我们看下一句。除了一杯牛奶外，我什么都没吃。I ate nothing except for a cup of milk. I ate nothing except for a cup of milk. 好，我们看哪边有错？第二个错，这个错同同学常常会犯哈。除了是 except, e x e p t， 很多人翻写成 e x p c t 是 expect 是尊敬的意思，两个字不可以混淆。我们另外翻翻看。I had only a cup of milk for my meal. 好，下面。They right now need to wrestle 
with a whole raft of issues, foreign and domestic, many, if not most, having to do with how we spend money. They have to do with 与什么有关 如果说 have nothing to do with 与什么无关 河水污染肯定与这些工厂有关 The pollution of the river must have to do with those factories The pollution of the river have to do with those factories 我们看哪边错了第二个 一定有关,我们用 must, 一定哈, have to, 不要只用 have to, 那这个是应该单数, 你要用有 has, 不能用 have, 好, 另外, 慢慢看, Surely, those industrial plants are involved in poisoning the waterway. 好, 有毒 poisoning 也可以, 污染有关, 好, 下面, 我与这些事情无关, I am nothing to do with those things, I have nothing to do with those things. 哪一个错了? 第一个错, 我们刚刚讲是 have nothing to do, 不是 am nothing to do, 哈, 这个注意, 另外翻翻看, I avoid such items, 好, 避免, avoid, 没有关系, 哈, 好, 下面, When budget cuts loom ahead, everybody screams bloody murder about citizens starving, freezing, or having their rights denied. 当预算削减迫近时, 每一个人都尖声大叫, 血腥,谋杀,公民饥饿,哀动,或使他们的权利被拒绝。我们学have什么,然后PP过去分词,意思是使怎么样,令怎么样。车祸后,他把车送去修理了。After the crash, he had his car fixed. After the crash, he had his car fixed. 好,我们看哪个错,第一个刚刚说have,后面要加过去分词,pp,要加ed,这个没有ed错了。另外翻翻看,following the wreck, he had his auto repaired. 好,这个wreck, w-r-e-c-k,也是车祸的意思。再来,你应该请英文老师改一改你的作文,我们作文叫composition. You should have your composition corrected by your English teacher. You should have your composition correct by your English teacher. 好,我们看哪个错。对,同样的错, have加个东西是后面被修改, 叫corrected,加加ed,另外做做看, You should call on your English teacher to amend your writing. 好,call on是找老师,去拜访老师, 那么amend也是correct,修改的意思. 好,各位同学,我们其实在谈翻译, 开始我们讲了一些, 翻译的基本原则啦或标准，那我们现在开始进入到实质上，就是英文跟中文他们之间的呃这个异同差异哈。譬如说我们今天谈有这个名词啦，它的数量、性别啦，那也谈到这个形容词有最高级、比较级等等